everyone. It's very early in the morning and we're getting ready to go on a flight. We are going to Venice today. I'm sorry the lighting is so bad right here. It, we just woke up. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're getting ready to go to Venice. We're all packed, but we have a taxi coming to pick us up at 8 a.m. It is currently 7.30, but we're very tired and I'm actually really, I'm actually, I'm super excited though because we, we're gonna take a flight and it's only like an hour flight so it's not gonna be very long and then we get to Venice. What time would you say? I don't know, an hour and 20, yeah. So we, our flight leaves at 10.50. Yeah, we'll be there midday. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably be there around noon. And But our, from the airport to like, so Venice apparently, you can't have cars inside of Venice. So because it's all like an ocean town. You can't have cars, period, because there's too many canals. So we have to take the take the plane from the airport, get a taxi to like this area, and then the taxi has to stop, and then we have to take a boat the rest of the way, or walk. So it's gonna be interesting. But I'm gonna get ready. Rap is trying to get ready, and I'm just still filming. So and I'm gonna let you go, but I'll talk to you when we get to the airport. Bye. All right, you guys, I hope you can hear me, but we have made it to the airport, as you can see. And the, I've been to the Palermo airport before, but I haven't really been like inside like this. So I wanted to kind of show you what it looks like inside. The only time that I've been, well, I've actually, I have been here once before, but I forgot about it. I kind of want a Sicilian oh, yeah. bracelet. You want one? Yeah, I need to see, do I just detach it and then bring I it to the so, thing yeah. and pay? Okay. Cool, cool. What is it? Yeah. Sicilia. Anyways, um, I think we're going to get some coffee. We had a Coronetto uh, earlier and it was really good. We have, there's a lot of people that's trying to run to their gate because you would not believe how busy it was at the airport today. It is so, so busy. Like, I thought that it was going to be busy when I actually came here, but no, no. There was, we had to wait in line to go through security for like 35 minutes, something like that. It's nuts. I think it's because like pretty much all of Italy is like white zone, so they can go with no problems. Anyways, but Raph's gonna get his little um, bracelet and then we're gonna get some coffee. And I didn't charge the camera, so it's flashing. Not, well, not flashing, it's almost flashing. Anyways, I will check back in with you when we're on the plane. We're about to get on the plane. I think we're gonna have to get onto a bus and then go on the plane. I don't know if if that's our plane over there or if our plane is like back there somewhere, but we're getting close. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you our hotel. It's gonna be amazing. made it here you guys our flight was really easy really i was gonna say fun but like was it it was fine it was fine it's a good flight we're going up this bridge to get to our hotel and we took a taxi from the airport to this area because like i said before in venice you can't have cars so but look it's all ready you can see the canal oh Look how pretty! Are you excited? Yeah, very. Oh my god. It's been a while. I'm getting a workout already. You have no idea how much I just want to jump into this water though. Look at the little boat on the left. I know. Okay, here I don't need to do this. Now we've passed the bridge, so this is probably a better view. Look at this! This is the Venice traffic. This is crazy. So now we have to walk 20 minutes to our hotel. That's gonna be great, but at least we'll have a good view. It's hot as shit. Well, we made it to Venice and our first stop is KFC. <laughs> I swear, I love these chicken fingers. They're so good. Hopefully you can hear me because it's kind of loud in here. <laughs> Ooh, that's like steaming. Wow, so good.
All right, you guys, we have made it into our hotel. Here is the room tour. This is the front door, as you can see. <laughs> and when you walk inside, there's like a closet area right here. This place is huge. And then we have the main kind of living space. We have this really cool, I don't know what you would call this. I know there's a name for this type of furniture, but I don't know what it is. I got a small little couch. We've got a big bed, super excited about that, and a nice sitting chair, another nice desk. Oh, here's another little area. Oh, there's a scale in here. Oh. I can't believe that. And, oh, a little safe, that's nice. And like a little mini fridge. And then, this is the bathroom. <laughs> this is insane. We've got, of course, a bidet. We've got a toilet. This vanity is in amazing. And then let's see if we turn the lights on. Yeah, hello. But this is beautiful. This tub, I haven't taken a bath in probably like a year and a half, two years, but I might just take a bath. And then this amazing, beautiful shower. It looks so nice. And of course it has a light right there that I love. So super nice bathroom. And then, dun, 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 we have a view of the canal. The view is amazing. Look at this, this is the canal. And then I think if we look out this way, we can open these up. There's the actual ocean over there, or the sea rather. Man, the view is beautiful. But we are thoroughly exhausted. Are you tired? Si. Uh, we need to take a shower because we stink. Si. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm going to, obviously not in the vlog. I was gonna say in the vlog, but I'm not gonna do that. But I think we're just going to like freshen up a bit and we do need to do a little shopping. I do have to go to Sephora because I didn't bring a checked luggage uh, this time in the airplane. So like my shampoo, my moisturizer, my contact solution, my face wash, I couldn't bring any of that um, because it had to be under 3.4 ounces or something like that and my bigger bottles I put in my checked baggage to actually come to Italy so we have to go to Sephora and get some stuff but apparently there's one that's super close here um so we'll do that soon but it is so freaking hot I'm sweating so we're gonna chill out for a bit but I will come back to you when something else interesting happens okay so, apparently we're getting a room upgrade. <laughs> um, totally wasn't expecting that because I thought, as you saw in the last couple clips, the room tour, I thought that it was really nice. Um, but, um, Raph actually said to me, he said, well, it's a little weird because it looked a lot bigger on, on the website when we were booking it. And I said, yeah, it did, it did kind of look bigger. So he asked the guy at reception, he was so sweet, and he said that we could do a room upgrade, and it's only like 20 euros difference a night, so we're gonna do that, and we got to choose the room that we want to go into, so we're gonna do um, room tour uh, number two here in a minute. Is anyone else like this when you first get into your hotel room or wherever you're gonna be staying, Airbnb, whatever, you immediately start unpacking? That's me. I want all of my stuff to be <laughs> like how I would have it at home. Like I wanted to just kind of be there. So the second I enter a hotel room, I start unpacking. So now I have to pack again <laughs> to unpack. 
<laughs> but I will totally do another room tour. I've already seen the room um, and it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It has the same interior as this one. So it has like the same black chair and like these ones but it has like a bigger bed and it has um also a canal view i'm excited uh, room upgrade fancier room okay i'm down all right you guys we got to our new room the room upgrade room and this is the entrance <laughs> when you walk in there's a slidey door like right here good old slidey door and you open it up, here's like a little, I don't know what you would call it, like a foyer? I don't know. But look at this other room. Two lounging sofas right here. And there's a TV in here as well. And then we have the big double bathroom. Like it's got so much more space. And two sinks. It has a... Again, a tub with a shower, like a double thing. So it has the shower up here, so you can take a bath or a shower in this one area. And then you have a separate door that leads into the toilet area. So really, really big bathroom. So basically they upgraded us to a suite, uh, which has multiple rooms. And then this door, this is, the master bedroom. <laughs> I think we even get a bigger bed. This looks like a bigger bed, but hello. And there's another TV in here. The guy was so sweet. And he said that um, this was one of the best rooms that he eat, that he had. And we still have an amazing canal view. Look at this, we're on the same floor. It's still the second floor. So we still have the amazing view. Oh, <gasps> you gotta be kidding me. There's a tiny little balcony. <laughs> There's a tiny little balcony. Holy shit. I didn't know this was, there's a tiny little balcony. Listen, I know that balcony wasn't like crazy, but I didn't even know I was gonna have the option of a balcony. And it's got like flags on it. Torta! Torta! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. He's, I locked him out and he's been trying to, I'm sorry. It's okay. I didn't hear him. I didn't hear him knock and then. It's, it's huge. It's so big. Babe, there's a balcony. Oh wow. It's like it's like this yeah, big, yeah. but it's still a balcony. We got a balcony in the flags. It's still a balcony. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, no, um he was he texted me twice and he goes, let me in. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, this is insane. Um the lighting is so bad. Maybe I'll try over here. I don't know. The lighting is just really weird. Anyways. Um, we're gonna unpack uh, once again, and um, this room is nuts, babe. You done great. Please. You did so good. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna we're gonna unpack again. You guys, we are at dinner now. We're actually at this really cute kind of like seaside hotel uh, restaurant, and this is what we got for dinner. I got some spaghetti with ragu, and he got a very nice caprese salad. Very yeah. pretty. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Next we got dessert. This is called tortino caldo. Si. And it has chocolate. Basically it's a lava cake. Si. And this right here, what is this? Es un tartufo. Tortufo. Ta, tartufo. Ta. It actually means um, tr truffle, tr truffle. Truffle? Like the mushroom. Oh, you that's know? cute. That's so fancy For whatever looking. reason. But inside it's, it's, it's filled with whatever. Oh it's good. my gosh. Oh yes. Guys, we're back in the hotel now. Um, in the last clip, I think I showed our dinner or dessert, I don't remember, but we had to do a couple of errands because I was not I was not able to bring a few things with me like my um, my moisturizer, my toothpaste, my face wash, 
stuff like that just because I didn't have a container small enough. I think I told you about it later, uh, earlier, but uh, we had to go to some stores and get stuff. So we did that. We almost went to like the square that has like the fancy stores like Gucci and Prada, stuff like that. But we decided, oh, actually Raf, Raf said that it'd be better for us to go tomorrow so we would have a full day there. And I was like, you totally right. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. But now we're just gonna hang out and chill for the rest of the night. Uh, we did bring our laptops and my camera. I'm filming on my camera camera. So um, I don't think we have to worry about anything getting stolen here. <laughs> so um, I will be, will be watching YouTube and all kinds of fun stuff. I think a new episode of Critical Role comes out tonight. So I will be watching that for sure. The Let me know if you also watch Critical Role because I love D&D. It's like one of my favorite games on the planet. I love it so very much. And they're doing like they're not a spinoff, but it's like a middle campaign before campaign three. So I think it's like eight or 10 episodes. It's called Exandria Unlimited. I'm really into it. Matt Mercer, the usual DM is actually playing as a character this time around and they have a new DM and she's doing really, really good so far. I've watched the first episode. So let me know if you also watch Critical Role and if you've seen campaigns one and two, we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the night and just chill. Um, did you wanna say anything, babe? Hi. You want to say hello? Hello, lovely place. Oh, like my toes. Nice food. <laughs> uh, free foot content. No, I'm just, just kidding. That's so weird. Anyways, all right, you guys, I'm going to go, but I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, please do that at Kenzie Scarlet and at my TikTok because uh, I do post uh, daily over there. And click up the like button if you like this video and then subscribe. And that's it. Okay, bye.